I'm Dr. Arvind Yelakantan from the Texas Medical Association, here to talk about glaucoma. In general, there are two types of glaucoma, open angle glaucoma and narrow or closed angle glaucoma. In this video, we'll cover open angle glaucoma, which is more common in the United States. I will describe how open angle glaucoma can affect your eyes and how to prevent this condition from impairing your vision. From now on, when I say glaucoma, I'm referring to open angle glaucoma. The eye is like a camera, the retina is the tissue, that's the film behind, and the optic nerve is the cable that transmits the image from the retina to the brain. Glaucoma is a potentially blinding eye disease where the pressure within the eye is higher than the optic nerve can tolerate. This causes slow loss of nerve fibers. The patient, unfortunately, does not have vision loss until the condition is advanced. Unless your eye pressure increases rapidly, it won't hurt and you typically will not feel the high eye pressure. So you may ask, who is at higher risk of developing glaucoma? Patients with a family history of glaucoma, persons of African American and Hispanic descent are both at higher risk of glaucoma. Other risk factors include older age, higher than average eye pressures, thin corneas, and previous eye trauma. Diabetes, hypertension, and vascular disease are all associated with other secondary non-hereditary types of glaucoma. Many patients with glaucoma do not have elevated eye pressure, as the eye pressure can fluctuate throughout the day. This means that eye screenings where only the eye pressure is measured may not detect glaucoma. The best way to diagnose glaucoma is to have a dilated eye exam so that your physician can examine the optic nerve in more detail. In a dilated eye exam, the doctor places drops in your eyes to enlarge your pupils so that he or she can get a better view of the optic nerve. Optic nerves damaged from glaucoma show nerve fiber layer loss that worsens as the disease progresses. With severe glaucoma, there is significant nerve fiber layer loss. Let me now show you some pictures illustrating these. The first picture we have here is of a normal, healthy looking optic nerve. That's the outer sheath of the optic nerve. The center is the cup or a depression of the center. And within the optic nerve, all this tissue is the optic nerve tissue or what we call the neural rim. The thickness of the neural rim is fairly symmetric all across the optic nerve and thick. In glaucoma, typically, the segmental loss of optic nerve tissue. As you can see in this image down below, there's loss of the optic nerve tissue, whereas up above, this patient still has good optic nerve tissue. As the disease progresses, there is diffuse thinning of the optic nerve tissue all around the optic nerve. And as the disease progresses, it causes total loss of the optic nerve tissue, leading to complete blindness. An ophthalmologist can examine your optic nerve to determine if you have glaucoma well before the glaucoma affects your vision. An ophthalmologist is a specialist. He's a medical doctor who provides medical and surgical treatment for the eyes. He or she may perform specialized eye tests, such as visual field tests and optic nerve scans, which help to diagnose and monitor glaucoma. Since glaucoma causes permanent damage to the optic nerve, the goal is to prevent further damage from the disease, hopefully to preserve your vision for your lifetime. The only available treatment for glaucoma today is to lower your eye pressure. Options to lower the pressure include medications, eye drops, laser surgery, and glaucoma eye surgery. Sometimes you will need a combination of these treatments depending on your stage of glaucoma. If your ophthalmologist prescribes eye drops, it is very important that you take them consistently as directed. Not using your drops properly and in a consistent manner can result in poor control of your eye pressure and cause further vision loss. Early diagnosis and treatment of glaucoma prevents vision loss. Your ophthalmologist will go over your exam results and discuss whether you have glaucoma and if so, what treatment options are best for you. Thank you for watching and I wish you good health.